everyone, I hope you're okay. I don't know why I always like put my hands together like that, it's almost like I'm praying. Um, I hope you're having a great day. Today I thought I would show you how I make my wallpapers. I make weekly wallpapers that I pop on Instagram, it's called Wallpa Wallpaper Wednesday if I can get my words out. And I always get messages asking how I make them. Uh, do I use an app? Do I use Photoshop? Um, and yeah, today I thought I'd sit down. I'm going to show you the process. I'm going to show you two different ways on how I make them. I used to make them using PicMonkey, which is a great tool to use. I use it on desktops. So I use it on like my laptop. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you how I make. used to make them using that. And then I'm also going to be showing you how I kind of make them using Photoshop. But very kind of basic stuff in Photoshop today. But I wanted to include both ways because I felt a bit naughty just including the pink monkey one as I have now gone over to Photoshop. I'm also going to be showing you some places to get some like free fonts to use for wallpapers and also talk a little bit whilst I'm kind of doing it at some kind of tips and tricks and also an app which will make doing like collages and getting elements for collages very very easy. So yeah I'm going to talk you through it. I'm going to do it as a voiceover because I felt like that was the easiest way to do it and show you the process as I was doing it. And I really hope that it's helpful if you have been wondering how to make your own. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So we're going to start off by looking at where I get my inspiration from every Monday, I would say, because my wallpapers go up on a Wednesday. I will have a look through Pinterest, I will have a look at other wallpapers and I'll also go through and look at mine and look at what's been most popular. So as you can see this one here has had quite a lot of repins which is just madness. And I'll also think about requests that people have sent me. I'm always open to requests so please send me a DM if you ever have anything you'd like to see. And yeah, I just kind of get some inspiration for the following week uh, so I've got a bit of an idea in my head about what I want the wallpapers to look like. So first of all, before we get into how I make my wallpapers, I wanted to show you some elements that I use that will definitely help you if you're planning to make some of your own. So this is defont.com and this is where I get a lot of my fonts that I use on my wallpapers. Um, so I definitely recommend checking it out. There's, they're all free. There's loads and loads of choice. I tend to go through the handwritten and calligraphy and the brush fonts. I find that they're my favourite kind of fonts, so I tend to go and look through those. And you can also pop in some text in the text box so you can see what the font all look like, which I think is really cool. Now next we're going to talk about graphics and design elements if you want to create collage type wallpapers. So this is actually an app that you can use on your phone and you can also use it desktop too and this is called Pixar. So I use it on both my phone and desktop and as you can see you can type in a search term. So for example I've typed in like pink and it comes up with loads of stickers and graphics that you can use for yourself um, so you can use them on wallpapers or use them for whatever else you'd like but it's a great little place because there's loads of graphics that you can play around with and it's absolutely perfect if you want to create collage type wallpapers. I only recently discovered Pixar and ever since I've been obsessed and there, this is how I've been creating a lot of my recent collage wallpapers because I've had a few people ask me. Let me know if you would like me to do a Photoshop tutorial because I'd be happy to do that or show you how I can do it on my phone. But yeah, I just thought I'd include this in case you are looking for some cool graphics to include in your papers. You can also get free stock photos from PicMonkey, which is where we are going to be making some of the wallpapers today. This is something they've recently added, which I think is a really good idea, and it just means that you can add these in your wallpapers too. You have to be very careful with images and graphics that you use in wallpapers to make sure that they are not owned by someone else. So it's great that PicMonkey have this feature of royalty-free stock images. I think it's very, very handy when you're making things like this. So for this particular wallpaper, I was just having a bit of a play around. And as you probably could tell, I was making a bit of a Gossip Girl slash New York theme. So obviously I'm looking up some peonies because they're Blair's favourite flowers. So yeah, so I kind of just mix and match different graphics and pictures and kind of smush them all together to hopefully create a cool looking collage. 
One of the reasons why I love Pig Monkey so much is because it is so, so simple and easy to use. And I also love how many elements they have. So as you can see here, look at all these free graphics they have for you to use. I often get asked how I get graphics onto wallpapers, onto my Instagram stories, and a lot of the time they are from PicMonkey. I pay for my PicMonkey, I have a subscription, I think it's something like $4.99 a month. However, they do do a seven day free trial. So I'd recommend signing up, seeing how you like it and get on. And I don't think it is that expensive if you're gonna be using it all the time because there's so many features which I think is so handy. For example, look at these little doodles, they just kind of add a little something to wallpapers and designs. And yeah, so definitely give the free seven day trial a go. This is not sponsored by the way, at all. Um, but it's just a good kind of way to try it out. And obviously it's a lot cheaper than Photoshop, which I'll talk a little bit about in a minute. So yeah, so I'm just showing you what you can do, all those kind of swashes that are very popular. You can edit them, you can change the colors, which I think is just so, so clever. And yeah, these have been such a big help with me designing my wallpapers and I think it's so easy to use and they look really professional as well. They've also got a lot of cool like seasonal graphics, there's lots of autumnal ones and beauty and even scripty messages. There's just so many things that you can use and utilise. So yeah, I'm a big, big fan of Pig Monkey. if you can't already tell. Um, also, something that I probably should have said before is when I'm making my wallpapers, I tend to size them as 1080 by 1920. This is the size of Instagram stories and I think they should fit most screens. But have a little Google and obviously if you're making personal ones, just do it for your own personal phone size. But yeah, look at how many graphics there are. I really feel like Pitmonkey Monkey have like up their game over the past few months and yeah I do really like it the only reason why I've stopped using it is because I wanted to teach myself how to use Photoshop and I'm kind of enjoying learning something new but I think if you're a bit of a beginner it's a great place to start and just like look at all the textures you can get like amazing so I thought I'd show you how I've made one of my most popular wallpapers which is this one here it's such a simple design and I kind of, it blows my mind that it's done so well on like Pinterest and Instagram, but there we go. And yes, all I did was design it on PicMonkey. So I got the swash from the graphics section and just colored it a pink color. And then I just had to play around with different fonts. So the font that I think I've just shown you it, I think it was Bodoni, which you can get on defont.com. Um, always have a play around with spacing. I always find that sometimes like changes up a font and you can upload your own fonts into PicMonkey, which I think is really, really clever. Um, I think you potentially have to have the um, higher subscription, which is what I have. But obviously if you're doing the free trial, you probably would have that already. But yeah, I just think it's so easy. And what I tend to do is I just like play around until I get something that I like. And yeah, there's not really much to it. That's literally it. So you can create collages on PicMonkey too. I find them a little bit easier to do on Photoshop for some reason, but you still definitely can do it on PicMonkey. And this one here, which I posted a couple of months back on my Instagram, was one that I created. And basically I found with collages, it's just about... There's no right way or wrong way of doing it. It's just about having a lot of elements, putting them together and seeing what you think looks good. So quite a few of the elements in this collage here I bought and I get most of my graphics and I also get a lot of fonts from Blog Pixie. She has an Etsy shop. She has a shop on Creative Market. But I definitely recommend going to her if you're looking for really, really pretty graphics for like your blog or, you know, your own personal use. But as you can see, I'm literally just mixing and matching different elements to get this collage together. I like including different wallpapers like the Remember Why You Started. I like including stock photos and then editing them myself and just adding little doodles and adding font and sayings. And yeah, I just think the main thing is to just have fun. I get a lot of inspo from Pinterest for collages and then I kind of just put my own twist on it. But it definitely isn't as hard as I think it looks and it's definitely easy to do on an app like PicMonkey if you didn't want to do it on Photoshop. And there we go, Like I think that looks really cool personally and it doesn't take too long at all. It's just about having the right amount of graphics, I think. 
So finally, we're going to move on to how I've been making my wallpapers recently through Photoshop. Like I said, I just decided that I wanted to teach myself how to use Photoshop. I pay monthly for Lightroom and Photoshop. I think it's about £9 a month. So I kind of wanted to get my money's worth. And I'm really enjoying using Photoshop. And this is where I've been making most of my wallpapers recently. I do feel like they have a slightly higher quality to them. Um, although I still think Pink Monkey, Pick Monkey is amazing, I don't know why, I just think the Photoshop ones look a little bit more professional, but obviously it is a bit more tricky to use. And this one here is just one that I was having a bit of a play around with the other day. I've been doing a lot more quote wallpapers recently because they always seem to go down really well with you guys. And I literally just play around with different fonts play around with the spacing until I get something that I like the look of and I've been liking quite a lot of simple not too fussy wallpapers and quotes recently so this is kind of what I've been creating but I do think Photoshop is easier to work than what you may think but obviously if you're a beginner I definitely would recommend Pick Monkey, and obviously it's a little bit cheaper than having to pay the £9 a month too. Once I've made the wallpapers, I'll then save them and airdrop them to my phone where I'll either set them as my background or I will save them to pop onto my Instagram story for Wallpaper Wednesday. I also always upload my wallpapers onto my blog usually at the end of each month and then onto Pinterest too. But I kind of feel like I have planned this video and now I don't really know what to say because I'm literally just like playing around. But I do feel like once you kind of know what you're doing, it's just a case of playing around and seeing what you like and what you think looks good. But yeah, this is basically how I do my wallpapers. I get a bit of a theme in mind, I get some inspiration and then I just kind of have a bit of a play. I would be more than happy to do some videos on further wallpapers. So if there's any particular wallpaper that you would like to see me recreate, if you're like, oh, I wonder how you did that, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to film a tutorial. And like I said, I'd be more than happy to show you a tutorial on how to make collages. Um, yeah, just literally like let me know. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but I kind of hope this video has been useful if you've been thinking about making your own. So there we have it. There is how I make my wallpapers. As you can tell, it's really, really not hard at all. Super, super simple and easy. And I just enjoy making them. I find it very fun. I don't really understand how they've managed to become so popular, but I am glad that you guys love them and enjoy them as much as I enjoy making them. As always, if you have any requests for wallpapers, let me know or if you have any requests for future videos again let me know and if you want to find out about my weekly wallpapers i put them like i said every single wednesday morning on my instagram story so come follow me on instagram it's at disbrunette free and i also pop them onto my pinterest as well so i will pop a link to my pinterest down below but a big thank you for watching and if you have any other questions like if i haven't covered anything please do just send me a message or leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But yeah, I hope you're having a really great day and I will see you all very, very soon.